What you doing now, Dave? Getting ready to cook a... Big! Big, big, big. The beef brisket, yep. What do you have all over this? We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Oh, I have badass wild rub. So where did you get that? Karen makes this stuff. Oh. This is a rub after we've tried multiple kinds. And we like this one the best because it had the sweet that I like and has the spicy that you like. And we put this on last night about uh, 10 hours ago. Yeah, right around 10 hours ago, yeah. And just covered it up and stuck it in the refrigerator. Brought it out to try to get it to uh, room temperature. Now we're going to put it on the smoker with hickory. Rack oh my god, is that going to even fit on there? Don't know. <laughs> they don't know. It's going to be a... Very tricky. Just hang on to the tray. I get the tray. And you're doing this fat side <clears throat> up. Yep. Ooh, don't burn yourself. Got it in there. It's in there. And cooking it at a, what, 220? 225. And how long? We're going to go for about nine hours. Are Just, you going to wrap it in foil at any point? Yeah, probably at about five hours or so, six hours, I'll wrap it in foil. Okay, and you do that because? Keeps it moist. Yeah, you know, we have found that it keeps things moist or chicken. Or it gets mostly all the smoke it's going to get by then, so. Yeah. What are we making now, Karen? I am going to try to make smoked potato salad. Never done it before, I'm going to give it a shot. So, what I'm doing is I'm starting out with these potatoes. Got them washed up real good. What kind of potatoes are they? They go with Yukon Gold. So I've washed them. Now I'm going to cut them up into big pieces. I can cut them a little smaller later. So I went online and I was looking at multiple recipes. And none of them suited my fancy. <laughs> so, I'm going to try my own thing. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on my pan with foil. So, I'm going to use some slightly warmed up bacon grease. You could use olive oil. And I'm just going to rub them all around in it. You believe bacon grease gives you better flavor? I would think so. Wow, that's a lot on there. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of taters. Yeah, that's what you put out for me to cut. I put out what you said to put out. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to salt and pepper them. That's it? Yep, now I'm going to go throw it in to the smoker, just like that. And... Probably go for about an hour and a half before I check them out. There's the taters going in. Right there in the smoker. And ooh, ooh, look at that big bad You put it on the top shelf. I normally wet them down a little before putting them in. You don't soak them though, do you? No. No, no. We got a lot of hours in this smoker. Oh, yeah. Let me look at that brisket again. Come on, you ain't looking, you ain't cooking. Well, potatoes were done in two hours. And we switched them off into this pan with the holes in it because it was kind of stifling the smoke from getting to the brisket that was above it. So let me give this a try. A little salty on that, or? Probably hot, too. Probably hot, yeah. Mmm. Boy. I don't even know if I'm going to want to make that into potato salad. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Got you a hot one. <laughs> it's good though. 
Very good. I still got to try making some potato salad with that. Half of it. Yeah. Not the other half. Okay. Mmm. And don't just... Take it from me. Take it. Burning, burning, burning. Whoa. Well, don't that look bad. Pour the leftover juice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this was the leftover juice that it was sitting in overnight. Brining in. I added just a little bit of water to it just to get it off the pan. And Dave's going to wrap it up real tight. I'm going to try. Seven, eight pounds. Go find room in the freezer. <laughs> and we're going to put this in another. Three to four? Yeah, probably about another three. Are you going to cook it in the pan or are you just going to put it? I'm going to put it back in the rack. See, this thing's going to be a mess for you to clean up. Oh, very good. Well, it's been nine hours. Should be somewhere around 200 degrees. 209. Let's take it out. Time to unwrap this baby, huh? Yeah. Wait. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh boy, and that bird. Look at that quiver amount of meat. Wow. <laughs> Pretty. sample, huh? You know it. You won't like it. You're not going to cut me a little piece to try it? Oh! Mm -mm -mm. Shut your mouth. Well, stop huh? just messing with it and cut it up so we can have mm. it for dinner. <laughs> well, that's all that juice. Look at all that Well, meat. that's like butter in there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh. There you go. Okay. So there's our smoked brisket with barnyard sweet and spicy barbecue rub and smoked potato salad. Ready to give it a try, Dave? Ready to give it. No, you don't really need a knife, do don't you? Don't need a knife. How's the rub on there? Good. Real good. Okay, try the smoked potato salad. Mmm. Perfect compliment. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, talk about tender. Mmm. Wow. That's some tender meat. You don't even need to chew it. Look at that. Tender. All right, let me try the salad. That was nice. I like that. That's really different. No, oh, you just get a trace of smoke with it. Yeah, I thought it'd be really a lot smokier than that. Just a hint. That's good. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.